How's the music making coming along, Uba? It's coming. Recently, I experienced a creative block. I've been making rap music for a while now, and it's an expression of my life, my experiences. I have been thinking about how do I expand those experiences? Um, maybe through traveling? Traveling? It's 2021. We ain't going anywhere. Mm, real talk, Vishas. I have been thinking about a career change in social work. I know it's a big jump from a musician to a social worker. I realize when people see me, they think, oh, so poor thing, he needs help. Sure, I can always use a helping hand every now and then. And can you move your cup closer to me? All right. Thanks. But most people don't realize I love to support others. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm listening. There are some neighborhood kids that are mentor in music making. And I realize we always end up discussing about their problems in life. I'm using music as a medium to help these kids make sense of things. I think it's about creating a support system and enabling people to overcome their obstacles. Hey, look, you know you're talking to a social work undergrad, right? Ah, that's why I paid for today's stay in exchange for some advice. Well, okay, I took the longer route after my O-levels and I went to JC. I went ahead and took my A-levels even though it didn't feel right. And your results were... <laughs> Abysmal. Well, look, my mom is a single mom and I knew that we couldn't afford private university fees. So, going to a local uni was my only option. I felt so lost and I didn't know what to do with my life. So I took a gap year and volunteered at AMK FSC. AMK FSC? Family Service Centre. AMK FSC is the OG. It was built in 1978 and it helps people facing psychosocial and financial issues. It became the national model for other family service centres across Singapore. Ah, cool. So you want to help people be with them and listen to them and their stories. Yes, that's right. And I found the ways to do it. You know what, Uba? You need to do your homework. Go and talk to people who will open your mind. Okay, let's go. Show me the way, Shaz. And you better pay for the next day next time, okay? Boleh lah. Hi, Provasu. Thank you for agreeing to speak with me. It's a privilege to seek advice from the first president of SASW. Wow. What makes a good social worker? A good heart is not sufficient to be a social worker. What you need to have is a good mind, an analytical mind, or what, would, what I would say a diagnostic mind. That will be brilliant if you have that. And I trust that uh, you can develop and acquire these skills. You're a social work pioneer. There were struggles, I presume. Yes, uh, there were interesting struggles, I must say, and challenging too, because there are different interest groups. You have those working in the hospitals, the medical social workers. You have those who are working in the prisons, uh, prisons rehabilitation officers. There are social workers working in the community. There are social workers working with children. They're all different groups of people with different interests. But I must say that they're all in social work. And hence, uh, it was quite interesting to get them together to share a common journey through the Singapore Association of Social Workers. And uh, I must say that uh, we persuaded a lot of these uh, interest groups uh, to get together to be unified for a professional cause and getting together to be united under one front, under one banner, is a, indeed a very good move. For the social work profession, it is not sufficient to know, but continue to do. Oh, hey, meet my course mate, Olivia. 
Hi, Olivia. I'm Uba. Hello, nice to meet you. How's life as a social work major? I'm actually really grateful to be here. So my goal is actually to become a change agent because I really believe in the dignity, worth and equality of all people. So here, I get to draw on theories of human development and behaviour as well as social systems to really facilitate change. Theories? Oh yes, we are actually exposed to a wide range of social science theories. So this includes exposure to organisational planning, human resource management and research. So we then are able to apply our learnings during our compulsory field placements, which is supervised by experienced social work practitioners. Well, I just had a conversation with Dr. Vasu, the first president of SASW, Emeritus Professor Vasu. Such a cool guy. Wow, that's actually great. Do you know that we can apply to be SASW members once we graduate? The connection between education and professionalisation is the key in the social work sector. Dr. Vasu also talked about needing good people with analytical diagnostic focus. So you're thinking about going to either NUS or SUSS, right? I know SASW has their own family resource and training centre to support professional social workers. You can check that out if you like. Oh wait, we have class in 10. Okay, let's go Olivia. Bye Uba. Bye Uba, nice to meet you. Bye. It's not sufficient to just know, but to continue to do. Huh. Do we go with a focus, analyze, diagnose? You know, so for purpose, it's never good enough. Don't you say you know? Sit back and relax. Then just go with the flow to continue the work. You know what to call it. Living one life that is never boring. I could burn right or I could burn out. Never going down without a shout. Without a shout. Hey, some shares. Hmm. Uh huh. Tomorrow. Yeah? I'm free. Wow, I'm in the presence of award winning social workers. Hi. 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 Hello. I'm Yogis. I'm actually the OSMA winner for 2013. Um, I'm currently a senior principal social worker at MSF uh, in the child protection area. I'm Su Ping and I received the Promising Social Workers Award last year and I'm currently a senior social worker with a Child Protective Service with the Ministry as well. Wow, major achievements. Congratulations to the both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for coming by to yeah. have a chat with us. Oh, it's a pleasure of mine. Yugi, can you tell me a bit more about the award? It was uh, actually from my memory. Uh, in 1998, the SASW introduced this award. It was with the intention of honouring the contributions of social workers and one of the things the other thing that we were intending was also to make sure that the public also have a good understanding of what social work profession entails what motivates you or what energizes the both of you so for me is hanging out with my tribe and the right good of good people you know so i can tell you a few uh, instances where the collective energy was so powerful okay so one of it was really um, when we were just graduated, we formed an informal uh, support group of social workers. Lah. And after a few years, we decided it's time for us to give back to the profession. So that's where, together with SASW, we started to do a, a social work induction camp. This was for graduating social workers. So we actually planned something together and we invited senior social workers to come and join us. And they also planned the content together and they actually set up uh, this social work skill station in Fort Canning. So people had to go to the students had to run around, you know, play games, but also learn skills. Lah. And I remember one of the things was how it culminated in a very exciting and colourful night. We were at the top of uh, YWCA, the rooftop, and we had the swimming pool. <laughs> we all lighted up the sparklers and we had cheers and we really celebrated the profession of what it means to be social workers. And that was really uh, something very impactful. A lot of the younger social workers uh, who are now like heading FSCs and all, do remember that because they were students in that camp. 
Then also another thing that um, I recall quite vividly where a group of uh, social workers who are change makers came together and worked with the association to do the first social workers day. This was in 2007. Okay? We had it at the youth park and we actually had like um, a celebration and tribute to a lot of our pioneers in the profession. And we actually talked about all the milestones made. And we also had um, a group of um, us looking at a survey that uh, Straight Times published on social worker state. You know, so these are all exciting things that have been done. I think one more thing which which has been like the fourth uh, social work seminar, social supervision seminar. So a group of social workers coming together, we've been organizing like multiple seminars to build up the mm. supervision practice in Singapore. So these are really very uh, powerful things that come together when a group of right people come together and that what energizes me as well. Yeah, and I think for myself, it's really like knowing um, the many opportunities like in this social work profession. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think yogis have always encouraged me um, to also like, you know, zoom in to my um, domain areas and really go down to specialise and understand deeper about each domain of interest. I also signed up to be a mentor with SASW, mm -hmm. yeah, to also uh, mentor the new uh, batch of social workers coming onto the field. Yeah. As yeah. Dr. Vasu was saying, la, must have fire in the belly to keep going so that we can continue to have impact. Speaking of fires, I do feel the fire burning strongly in the both of you. I think for me, learning will not uh, stop here. Mm. Uh, definitely, uh, I think uh, demanding for quality work and standards in this profession is important. Mm. Yeah, and I think I remember uh, Yogesh always says, uh, when the roots run deep, right, uh, you have no reason to fear the wind. And mentoring is really very something that is growth promoting and it's also about multiplying effect you know so that more people can benefit from it and the next generation can really benefit from these efforts I've been meeting some really interesting people, gaining new perspective for myself and how I want to grow. Somehow I end up learning about structures that has been put in place, not just to support people, but movements. Do you understand what legacy is? Basically, it's a story of a person's life. When a person dies, legacy is a mark where he or she lives behind. Do you ever think about that? Okay, show me what you wrote for this week and maybe I could lay down a bit for it. Times I just want to scream and shout. I still don't know what it's really all about. Dad's in jail, he will never come out. The voices in mom said are uh, always too loud. I could run away before my heart shatters. Run away from here because nothing matters. Well, Zach, it's really. Are you okay? You know, this is really good stuff. It's raw and authentic. Yes, I think so. When I was at your age, I wouldn't be able to come up with any of this. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? You need to share more of this with me. Because you're a good writer. And it always feels better when you pen things down. Sometimes when I feel trouble, I start composing. I challenge myself. I write about my problems, but along the way, I try to write about my solutions as well. I try to conclude with a plan or change. How about tomorrow we head down to the nearest family service center 
and find a plan of change. Hi, I'm here today because I have been thinking of stewardship after speaking with yogis and sipping, being entrusted to carefully, responsibly manage something. And as former president of Singapore Association Social Workers, what are your journeys? Yeah, thanks for asking. In fact, um, it has been uh, more than 20 years before I uh, came into social work. I was in the telecommunications uh, industry. So I did economics and I thought like uh, I want to apply what I learned in economics to influence social policy and social welfare. I think my time as a president can be summed up by the statement that great ideas are born out of simple but stubborn ideas. We, we started celebrating uh, Social Workers Day in 2007, but it's not until 2010 um, that we had this idea of twinning the symposium with a celebration. So because I think for social workers, it's very important for us to stay relevant and professional development is one big important aspect of uh, social workers. Uh, but while many people uh, were very happy attending this program in 2010, uh, they did not know the hard work behind, uh, which was actually for us, uh, the executive committee at SSW, to put together a proposal and actually use only eight weeks to raise funds to actually uh, eventually organize an event that hosted 500 people attending this event uh, learning platform. So at the end of the day, people were all saying that this is really good uh, work done, uh, but they didn't know that it was born out of that simple but very, very stubborn that we are not going to give up. Even though we're all so busy, we're going to make it happen. You know what? The 2000s was actually a very, very exciting period for the association and for the social fraternity. That's right. Yeah. Lots of milestones that we had in that period. Exactly. And I remember one of those exactly. things that one of those things that you helped actually was the revised code of ethics, right? Oh, now that you mentioned, yeah. In fact, uh, a few of us worked on on the revision over like two to three years. Like I think it was from twenty fifteen to twenty seventeen. I have a more complete list here. Let me see what did we do in that period. Oh, we actually introduced the manual of social work supervision, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then also the accreditation system for social workers and social service practitioners. Yeah, 2009, right? That's yeah, right. And we also started forming chapters. Let me test you, how many chapters does SSW have? Wow, okay, yeah. we have five. Okay, and the first one? Medical, Medical school, school family, family, disability, and criminal justice. Well done, Agnes. Okay, I think all this thing could not have been possible without the hard work of the practitioners coming together so actually this dream of organizing this uh, international conference for social work in Singapore was seeded in 2010, as early as 2010, you know, but we only get to organize it in 2016. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And during these six years, there was a lot of preparation work, finding people to fund us, resource, mm -hmm. and owning this brand and dream. This opportunity to, to host this international conference in Singapore allows Singaporean mm -hmm. social workers to fly our yeah. Singapore flat. And they also uh, saw how our veteran social worker went uh, all over to rally, rally different social workers from different subsectors and different uh, uh, parts of the fraternity to come together to just spend the six years uh, to, to, to plan for this international event. Can you imagine six years to plan for this international event? But I think what is important is that, um, which was very firm, without, I remember I was the president and I said, yes, let SSW take on this. You know, mm. because I feel if we don't own the dream, who would actually own the dream? Only when we own the dream, then we can succeed. Well, as you were asking me about my journey, I, I further reflected and realised that SSW has played a part in terms of my own uh, growth as a social worker. And one of the uh, things that I saw over the years was how uh, practitioners in the field had come forward to become trainers at our training arm, FRTC. And through... Um, developing courseware and through conducting workshop uh, to impart skills and knowledge to many social workers out there through our different training initiative. I saw how social workers give back to uh, the association and how the association has also at the same time uh, been uh, growing and giving to, to, to members, to social workers. Um, and I myself has also benefited from a boss who has been supported, yeah, allowing me flexi hours yeah, so that uh, he see that as I contribute uh, in the association, I also 
bring back my growth back to my uh, own uh, working organization. So it's not a zero sum game. Yeah, we actually become better and we multiply. You know, the work of social workers is just always fraught with challenges and it requires the support of the association. SSW has done a lot in the last 50 years and I think more is needed to support the social workers in the next 50 years. A lot of courage required for me to go down the path of my dreams. So have you found your reason to take on the path of a social worker? To have the conversations I had for the past few days, that's a real education. My mind is broadened, my will fortified. It's about making my limited time on earth count. To chase my dream and blaze my own path. I'm practicing what I've learned into my art. And you know that's the only reason Gotta find my way Looking for some better days Pushing through it all Just to find a better place On the rhythm Got the vision for my reason, bro Finding freedom in the system That's the mission, though In a social dimension We're trying to break the chain Break the vice Never give up We can make a change Feel the fire blazing out From within No more holding back Reaching out by any means Focus on the voices